Hi guys, I hope you all well. So I'm in Singapore and I'm at Empire Exotic Race here with Mr. Danny. Hello. Hi you guys. So we're going to have a tour of Mr. Danny's fish room and he's going to show us his white diamonds, his chili red arowanas and some of the other rays he has in the facility. Do I start from here? Yeah, we can start from there. Wait, I'm on the light. You're on the light. <laughs> So guys, we Empire Exotic Stingrays is in Singapore and this is the true origin of the Big Spot Ray and uh, this is the origin of the true White Diamond. So this is his, some of his breeding stock in the pond of the White Diamonds. Okay, so this is Mr. Danny's breeding pond. So he is the creator of the white diamond, where the spots are bigger and, and sometimes even whiter, whereas the black diamond, the spots are a little bit smaller and not as white. So some of you may ask, but okay, not all the spots in here are big and white. That may be true, but those are the, um, some of the uglier ones of the lot, but they carry the white diamond gene. So that the next genes, when they breed out, will also have uh, the true bloodline with them and it's very important to follow the bloodline to get good colors and to get the gene and to keep the gene okay we got some Asian arowanas uh, this is a chili red yes, chili red couple more arowanas Okay, here's some baby uh, white diamond stingrays. As you can see, what we spoke about earlier about the big spots. The big spots are quite present in this particular fish. As well as this particular ray as well. It's a lot more whiter on this one here. So these are true white diamond stingrays. Here's an albino stingray, for example. Another albino ray. Another beautiful chili red arowana guys have a look at mr danny's filtration i keep telling you guys do not wash your sun filters look at how dirty these filters are okay so here's a little nursery here where they're keeping the baby white diamonds just look at the quality of this particular white diamond over here and how big and white the spots are yeah, this is a cross white diamond Oh, we're gonna get a new strain out of Mr. Danny very soon, so keep that out on the lookout. There's a couple more rays over here. So have a look at the quality of these rays, guys. Immaculate water quality. So I always tell you guys, water quality is important. A fish can heal itself without medication, so long as it's in good, healthy, mature water. And this is a great example. Guys, have a look at the quality of Mr. Danny's water. It is crystal clear. So, clear water which means no NO2, which means high quality mature bacteria water equals high quality, beautiful and healthy fish. Here's some of Mr. Danny's huge rays. I haven't seen a ray this big before. Not even at my Thailand, not even at the Thailand facility did I see rays this big. And it's so healthy, immaculate condition. Albino Asian arowana. I haven't seen one like this. This is quite rare Guys the importance of biological media here's it here as proof So this is an example of a sump filter that holds bacteria the water flows in over there under over under over under over under over we've got egg crate at the bottom here to ensure that there isn't a blockage we've got biological ceramic rings we've got bio ceramic rings we've got crushed coral to maintain ph even in the last chamber with the return pump there's bio ceramic rings for good bacteria bacteria is important bacteria equals high quality water which equals no no2 which means better water for your fish 
and most important guys leave the sump filter to get dirty the more dirty it is the better for you avoid cleaning the sump filters guys it's very critically important mr danny says the last time he cleaned his sump filter was one or two years ago beautiful detonoids well here's a stingray and there's a beautiful detonoid Crowd facility and holding facility on some of the rays. Once again, another sump filter on the top. Holding bacteria hasn't been cleaned in a while, which is very, very good and very important. And again, look at the quality of the water. Good quality water means good quality and healthy fish. It's all about bacteria. The bacteria breaks down the NO2, breaks down the ammonia. You need to have both aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. So this is the special rays we were talking about, Luzistic. So it's not about the spots, it's all about the stripes now. So this is something that's going to hit the market very, very, very soon. Keep a lookout on this particular uh, bloodline. Once again, it's Mr. Danny at the front line. Yes. Okay. This is a pathogen. We call it a pathogen. So this is another bloodline. 